All right, so I'm going to get to a quick video about, uh, you know, showing the proof that, you know, the days, like, because, you know, you got some people, some is like camp, so on and so forth, you know, believe that uh, the Sabbath is always on Friday evening to Saturday evening. You know what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter is that the, uh, you know, we didn't go off the calendar that we go off today. You know what I'm saying? This calendar we use today is, is pretty new. You know what I'm saying? We used a whole different type of calendar back in the day. We used the the the, the, uh, the sun. We used the constellation. We look at this uh, the sun and the moon. You know what I'm saying? To tell our time, so on and so forth. Okay, that's that's how we knew what you know what month it is, whatever, so on and so forth. We knew the month started because like because the month the, the the new moon that's the first day of the month. Okay. And we can prove them, which I'm gonna prove it through the scriptures. So, and the new moon doesn't come on the same day every single, every single, every single month. It doesn't come on Friday evening or Saturday evening. The new moon can come on Monday. The new moon will come on Tuesday, Wednesday, different days. You know what I'm saying? So, if the new moon came on Tuesday, and that's the first day of the month, like the scripture says, what is seven days later? What's that? What's that seventh day of that month? A Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. It's not Friday, Saturday, every single week. It changes. You know what I'm saying? Because the moon, look at the moon. The moon's changing. The moon's constantly, you know, different phrases. You know, that's how we tell, that's how we can tell, okay, this is, you know, so on and so forth. Which the scripture says, the moon's a decoration of times, which I'm going to get later. But this is First Samuel 20 to prove that the, the, the new moon is the first day of the month. First Samuel 20 and, uh, 24, so David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to, to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat as at other times, even upon his seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose, and Abnar sat by Saul's side, and David's place was empty. Nevertheless, Saul spake not anything that day, for he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean, surely he is not clean. And it came to pass on the morrow, so the next day, so the new moon, it was a new moon that day. So the next day, on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that David's place were, was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan, his son, wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet neither yesterday nor today? And Jonathan answered, Saul, David earnestly asked leave for me to go to Bethlehem. Okay. So, if you, if you read up, Jonathan and David had agreement because, you know, David didn't try, you know, try to stay away from Saul. But uh, they had an agreement that, you know, we sh that you should, I'm going to stay away for three days. I'm going to come back or something like that. You know, we're going to, what does it say? Let me see. It says, uh, let me read up a little bit. Uh, it says, okay, 12. It says, Jonathan said unto David, O Yahweh, God of Israel, when I have uh, signed my father about tomorrow, any time, or the third or the third day, and behold, if they be good toward David, and I then send not unto thee and show it thee. So pretty much, you know, he tried to hide from him for three days. So this proves right here that the new moon is the first day of the month. You know what I'm saying? You just said tomorrow is the second day. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. So that so that so that can't that can't be uh Saturday, Friday evening to Saturday evening every single time. It's, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Friday, Saturday, all that shit came from, you know, false gods. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. So, we, you know, obviously we did not go by that, that, uh, uh by that, uh, that calendar. You know what I'm saying? Now let me get, uh, because, you know, somebody told me, uh, I want to call it that, you know, that the, that the, uh, the moon and so on and so forth was made on the fourth day. And so they said that proves that if it was made on the first the fourth day, then that proves the weekly cycle or whatever the hell. But you gotta understand, the earth was not made in six days to us. Like we know how you got six days, like today what? Today's whatever uh what the fuck today it is. Tuesday. Six days would be Monday. So, you know, six days from now would be Monday. That's not how it happened. With the with the creation, the creation of Yahweh Bishmet Shai happened in six thousand years, and I can prove it. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me just let me just get it. It says, uh, 
2 Peter 3 and uh, 8. Be, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So to the Lord, it's, it's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? So when it says the Lord created the earth and the first day he created this, the second day he created that, that's a, that's a period of a thousand years. I'm not talking about uh, literally a day, 24 hours or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's not talking about that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, just further get to the Old Testament as well as, uh, 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 Psalms 90 and 4. For a thousand years in thy sight are but a, as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. So the, the time of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is completely different from our time. So when, like, like I said, when the Lord said he created the earth in six days and the seventh day he rested, he created the earth in 6,000 years. He created the earth and, you know, and then he created the animals and, you know, each each thousand years and so on and so forth he created man. But then on the six, seventh day, he the seventh thousand year, he rested. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord can, the Lord can if he wanted to. He can create, he can create the earth in fucking less than a second and he created everything. But the Lord, you know, he takes time. He makes, you know what I'm saying? His time. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's faster, but in our time, it takes a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? So when the Lord died, got put on the cross, that, that really, to the Lord, that's only two days ago. You know what I'm saying? But to us, that's 2,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's different to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that. Our, our ways are not the same ways you have with Shemashah. So you can't use that scripture to prove your point on the weekly Sabbath because the earth wasn't made in days. It was made in thousands of years. Period of six thousand years. Okay. Uh, let me see. This is uh, Genesis one fourteen. It says, "And God said, Let there be lights in the in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night, moon, sun, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. See, let them be for signs." Like, what, what's one of the signs of the moon? Like, you look at the moon, might be a blood moon, or, you know what I'm saying, or a blue moon, whatever the fuck they call it. Those signs in heaven that we can tell, okay, the end is coming, so on and so forth. Then it says what? And for seasons, you can tell from the seasons, and for days, you know what I'm saying? We can tell by what day it is, you know what I'm saying, by the moon. Like I said, the new moon is the first day of the month. So whenever you see the new moon, just remember, that's the first day of the month. You know what I'm saying? I believe what the the, the full moon is the middle of the day, the, uh, the middle of the week or whatever, the middle of the month's like it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you tell. You know what I'm saying? Why would it say for days? You know what I'm saying? And for years. And let them be for the lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Okay? So that's this was. And to read on a little bit, it says, Then God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day, which is the sun, and the lesser light to rule the night, the moon. And he made the stars also. Okay. So that's you know, that's 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 how you that's how you tell. That's how you that's that's how that's how you give the proof that the Sabbath is not based off of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's not based off of that. You know? Let me get uh where's that at? Sarak forty, I believe. Apocryphal is ruined. It was rain yesterday, so like, yeah. But, uh, where's that one at? So like, yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, you look the word up, moon. The word moon literally means month. Why is that? Like, the scripture is going to say that the moon, the moon is caught after her name. Why is that? Because the moon literally means month. If I can find it, uh, should be 43. It's like I ain't get this one in the grip, so you gotta bear with me for a hot second. Uh, let me see. Okay, here it is, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus forty three and uh, six. He made the moon also to serve in a season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is a sign of feast. A light that decreases in a perfection. See, that's why you got this gift, the GIF of this picture, just 
the moon is decreasing and increasing. It, it, it changes, you know what I'm saying, in the perfection. And, you know, and they say the new moon is the, I believe, is the, when the moon is shining the brightest. Or maybe it might be the full moon. It's like I can't really, you know, remember, honestly. But uh, it says, uh, from the moon is a sign of feast and the light that decreases from the perfection. The month is called after her name. The month is called after the moon because the moon literally means month. Okay? So it says, increasing wonderfully and in changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. Okay? So that's that's the proof right there. The Sabbath is based off the new moon. The moon, okay? Based off the moon. You know? It's not based off of, it's not Friday and Saturday every single week. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like Friday and Saturday, probably like twice a year, I believe. Maybe four. I don't. I can't remember. But I believe it's only twice a year. So, like right now, it's a Sabbath right now. And today is Tuesday. Really, right now it's Monday evening, Tuesday evening. But next month is probably gonna be Tuesday evening, and Wednesday evening. You know what I'm saying? It changes, just like the moon. It changes. So with that, hopefully, it's edifying. We give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bush, Yahweh, Shai, Bush, and Rachak, Rachak, Bounce to the positive to your message to the ones that brush out to doing his work. You know, so with that I'm gonna say it's the one.